Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about flanges. Yes, flanges, a very important thing in the construction industry and around your home. So what I've done is I've actually whipped up some open SCAD code, uh, but I've also made it into a customizer. You can see it up there on Thingiverse. So what you can do is you can go out there and... Uh, Put in your parameters and create something that looks like this, a flange. This is really handy and one of the things that I do is I, I use TPU to actually create various flanges and this is one that I've created uh, for a vent and so it's a four inch vent and what happens is this goes over the tube creates a seal and then there's actually uh, four screws that will go into the drywall to, to kind of seal everything up and so uh, because it's TPU I make this a rather tight fit so as it presses onto the pipe uh, what happens is you know produces a nice strong seal around here then obviously I get a seal here to the wall so this is really handy so you can create uh, with this customizer all different sizes of um, uh, basically flanges or grommets or eh, it's more of a flange I think than a grommet uh, but anyways I thought it was pretty handy and you can kind of see in a corner up over there uh, me printing this one off and again I find that TPU works really well for these type of projects because it gives me the pliability and also the resistance because I, I tell you what this will not delaminate I've used uh, TPU in a number of um, applications and I mean over the past couple of years and it's held up very well so anyways just kind of wanted to share this with you um, again some of the primary things that you can do with this from a dimensioning standpoint is holes so you can set you can have four holes two holes 12 holes however many, ever many holes you need around here you can change the size you can also vary the thickness so what I've done is I've taken the thickness from here and carried it up here so it's one manifold that folds back around um, you can also make the top part of this flange uh, basically any depth that you need I, I think I made it out to like 200 millimeters or something so you could create a very long stack out of this uh, if you need to some of the other things I'm thinking about doing in, in a future version of this uh, maybe if you guys are interested is actually maybe doing a cone shape or something like that so the base is larger than the end um, so if you have a smaller say pipe or vent going through something then um, this will taper down to match that pipe and you could place it over it but anyways I again I find TPU very handy for a number of applications because of its resiliency uh, and the fact it doesn't delaminate or come apart like uh, either ABS or PLA tends to. This stuff really likes to stick to itself. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. And again, I'll have a link to this customizer uh, down below. So you don't need to know OpenSCAD or anything. But I'll also have this uh, code out on the OpenSCAD site, which I'll also have the link down below. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.